Okay, let's uh, move on to our next sample script. In this script, we will build uh, basic calculator functions like addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction. So we'll build a, a functions for that and use it. So before we start getting into functions in the script, let's look at our existing simple script here, these lines here. So here I have three variables declared, assigned values for A and B, here I added both the values a plus b and whatever gets stored into the result is being displayed in line number 27. Let me go ahead and run the script real quick and demonstrate to you the way this works. So okay I double clicked it and I got result values called 105 which is 100 plus 5 is 105 and that got displayed using line 27. Now let's go ahead and start, uh, you know, adding functions to the script. I already have those written. Uh, let me pull them up. Okay, all the functions are here. And let's, I'll review all these functions. I have about five functions. The first function is add, and it's taking two numbers and adding them and returning the total. Subtraction is taking two numbers, and uh, it's uh, the first number minus the second number, and the result is passed to the variable with the name that is same as the function name so that it gets return and similarly the multiplication and division so <clears throat> instead of me adding uh, a plus b I could do add a comma b and close it so I'm using this function here to add these two numbers and the function is going to return a value and that value goes into the variable result and that gets displayed. Now just to prove that this function works and displays 105, let me go ahead and run it. Okay, you have result 105, same thing here but you know we haven't, you know, we did not add it, we used the function here at line 32. Uh, let me make one other adjustment. Um, instead of uh, you know having a message line here, I have a function or a, you know, I have a sub um, procedure that's called display message. Let me use that here instead. Instead of me having a message statement. Okay, I'm going to use a display function to display the result of this call or you know this method call here so what this display uh, message is a sub procedure and not a function so this is how you call a make a call to a sub procedure there is there are no brackets if I were to have a brackets you know open and close brackets let's see what happens you, we should end up with an error so it says that cannot use parentheses when calling a function let me go ahead and remove that and run the script now. Let me go ahead and double click there. It says the result is 555. And we know that A plus B is 100 plus 5, which is 105, but we have 555 because we hard coded the value. So instead, what we will do is we will pass the result there. So A plus B is 105 in this particular case that's passed by the function add. And sent a variable result, and the result is sent in uh, passed into this particular sub procedure. Let me go ahead and run the script. So the, now that we you know we passed correctly, we have the result is one of five. Now let's uh, again. What happens when you call display message? It's uh, calling this sub. So the first one is string message. So the string message is the result is and a space that goes in there. And then the 
value of the, the result. Once it hits this um, sub procedure, then all it does is it displays a message box. And all it is doing is it's taking the first string, whatever is passed as uh, str message, goes in there, puts a colon, and then puts the result and displays the message. So and now you can. So we, let's say, for example, you want to do multiplication. Instead of add, we will put multiply there. It's result equal to multiply a comma b. And uh, in this case, uh, the result values, you know, gets updated because here result equal a plus b, but here's a times b. Let me go ahead and run the script real quick. Okay, the result is 105. Do OK. The result is 500 because the second message is coming from line 29, which is 100 times 5. <coughs> sorry, 100 times 5, which is 500. Okay, you can you know start experimenting with the script and play with it with you know using different functions that we have here declared, and uh, you know you'll still uh, come to a clarity that you know the the code that is part of functions is a reusable code you can call those uh, you know sub procedures and function procedures as many likes as you want and depending on the need once you have this written this way the code becomes reusable because you know as you saw i can use it here and i can use it in a different part of the script as well okay okay now we will move on to the next script